In this video, I'm going to demonstrate to you how it is possible to perform the nucleus management in a patient with a very soft cataract in under 15 seconds. Now here's the patient who presented to us with an anterior subcapsular cataract which was disturbing his vision. Let's begin. So in order to have a quick, clean, uneventful surgery, I think it's very important that all your preliminary steps should be very meticulously performed. Pay attention to wound architecture. You don't want to have any issues with either difficulty in instrumentation, neither do you want to have a very large side port, for example, that might result in a leaky wound, which may lead to enough intraoperative compromises. Staining of the anterior capsule is a personal choice I have because I don't want to have any compromises whilst creating the rexes. Now, whilst creating capsulotomy, you need to be mindful that you end up with a capsulotomy that's about at least 5 or 5.5 millimeters. Because as you will see, my preferred technique of choice for doing the nucleus disassembly and the downsizing and emulsification is always a hydroprolapse. Performing a hydroprolapse wherein you delineate the endonucleus and hydroprolapse it out of the bag is perhaps the safest way of performing a phaco emulsification in soft cataracts. Let's see what I mean by that. So one, I perform a hydrodissection which allows me ease of removal of the cortex later. And having completed that, I now perform a hydrodelineation. What hydrodelineation does is actually define the endonucleus which is all that needs to be emulsified. So let's just get a recap till now. We've got perfectly created incisions. We have a rexis, which is large enough to allow one pole of the endonucleus to pop out into the anterior chamber. And now we're ready for the nucleus management. Prior to even starting the nucleus management, always put adequate viscoelastic both under the prolapsed board of the endonucleus as well as in the anterior chamber because all your manipulations now are going to occur largely in the anterior chamber and therefore you want to protect your endothelium. Now, before we get to the nucleus management, it's also important to understand that you're hardly going to use any phaco emulsification energy to aspirate this nucleus because there isn't a dense nucleus at all. So the only thing that you're going to use is the fluidic forces, that is the vacuum and the flow to be able to successfully downsize and aspirate this nucleus. Let's now get to the nucleus management in under 15 seconds. With the anterior chamber insufflated with visco, the phaco probe and the Sinsky hook are introduced into the eye. The Sinsky hook is held behind it and watch how with using just the fluidic forces, that is with the foot pedal in foot pedal 2, only in the aspiration mode, the nucleus is downsized and emulsified. And as you can see, it took only about 15 seconds to aspirate this nucleus. So therefore, I'd like to conclude that a hydroprolapse of actually the endonucleus partially into the anterior chamber prior to the nucleus disassembly allows for a safe, quick and an easy nucleus management. I do hope you found this video useful. Thank you.